We've had a lot of uh, partners and sponsors in the past t- couple of days and today. Yeah. And I'm going to give Todd Fritz credit here because Todd does a move. A lot of us don't remember people's names. A lot of us do, including myself. Todd does a move whenever anyone comes and goes, hey, good to see you. And he shakes their hand. Now, he gives them a hug. I just shake their hand. But good to see you is generic enough where it's, I haven't met you before. It's just a pleasant introduction. And if I've met you before, it's good to see you again. Again, yeah. It, it's a little awkward, but it mostly works. Yeah. You've mastered it, Todd. There's also the how are you, that, that, that you could have yeah. met them once, could have met them 73 times. How are you? How are you? Okay, so we're, what we're is giving your... Todd credit for saying to someone, good to see you? Yeah, because it's it. He doesn't know anybody's names. And he doesn't remember their names. I don't either. A lot of people don't. But what is your go-to when it, you're not sure if you know somebody, or you you realize you don't know them, but you want to just say something, or somebody already told you their name and then you fought, forgot their name like 30 minutes? Well, ago. I've gotten caught a few times saying, "Hey, Paul Paps, good to meet you," and and you're like, yeah, yeah we, we met, met before. before, and then that's bad. Yeah. Yes, McLovin. Oh, I don't even know how to say this. I probably shouldn't, but I. Uh, I didn't know whether to hug somebody yesterday, and I I hugged a client, um, but like a perfunction, and it was awkward. We didn't know we were both going in shake hand hug, and that was awkward. Todd just goes straight for the hug. Well, yeah. well, three, it was like four. There was a group of four. Three I was familiar with, and I hugged each of the three of them. So I didn't want to leave the fourth person out, who I know I hadn't met before. So that to me, it just seemed <laughs> weird to give love to three and then just stick my hand out love. to the fourth. So I just I just hugged all four of them and just made it one group thing. Give love to three. Yes, yeah, he. I did a three hug and a handshake on the fourth, and it seemed to be appreciated. So you did a three. I hugged so- three people and shook a hand wow. in the same group, and it was cool. Yeah, yeah, McClellan. I've always noticed when a guest comes, you have to hug the guest, yeah. and we get handshakes. Yeah, is that is that some unwritten rule? I don't. I I'm not big on the bro hug. But I, you're expected to when a guest comes in. Because I see it in New York. I like all to time. just put my hand out and shake your hand, and then they they'll bring you in. And I, I don't know. I, but you'll hug people you've never even met before. Let's say a famous athlete comes in. Let's say yeah. Gian, Giannis would come in, and you've never met him, but yeah. you're both famous guys and, a, and kind of know each other because of that. So you do the, hey, good to see you, hug. Yeah. But I don't need to do the bro hug. Like Anthony Anderson, the actor, comes in. Like yeah. he, Chris Panshake to us, yeah. and there's a 100% chance you're getting a bro hug there. I, Tracy Morgan. When he came in, and I put my hand out, he goes, no, 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 you bring it in here. He did the double arm wrap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he embraced me. Yes. He- I would rather go in prematurely for a hug and be overly affectionate than, like, there's some people walking around who uh, have been coming up here, like, twice a year for seven years and still have no idea who I am. <laughs> and you're like, well, you, I would rather, like, get the, like, wow, we just met and you're hugging me, rather than, like, hi, it's, there's, like, the dozenth time I'm introducing myself to you. Dozenth. There is there is <laughs> somebody who has come up frequently. We've seen them on the road frequently. And For like eight years, easy. It, maybe ten. Yeah, maybe ten. And he introduces himself to the Danettes, full name to the Danettes every time he sees them. We, behind his back, we call this person Memento. <laughs> because he can't remember. <laughs> yeah. As, and when I say we, me. Yeah. And it's awkward because I, I'm around... And and he's seen you guys when he's seen me, and he uh, he tells you his full name, full first last name. Yes, Paul. We did have a couple of years ago a, a client came in who's no longer with the company, and this client goes, "Ah, oh, man, I'm a big fan of the show. I could hear them talking about how big they are." And I introduce myself, and the person goes to me, he "Goes, so what do you do here?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we've we've had that before big with fan. guests where PR person goes, "Man, this guy loves your show." And I'm going, "Really? Okay." And then he came in to uh, the New York studio, and he wasn't quite sure who anybody was. <laughs> Didn't know who and anybody we, was, and, and he goes, <laughs> he goes oh, so, so this is a podcast? <laughs> He's looking around all the TV yeah. cameras. Oh, no. They're like, no, oh, my God. So where's Fritzy? Well, that would be me, but that's okay. That's uh, then yeah. you're introducing yeah. to the rest yeah. of the group. Now, what do these guys do? When they when they do that, what do uh, these guys do? And I go, uh, maybe not that familiar. <laughs> the waving finger. Yeah. The, uh, like, so yeah, what, what, you, what do, do you, these guys do? Uh, where's Keith here? Oberman? Where's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, probably Todd it. has probably sent out emails. Dan Patrick's the hugest fan of you. And like guys, you have no idea. We're probably doing the same thing the opposite way. But it is tough when they walk in and go, you know, I heard that I heard Don ask a lot of tough questions. Yeah. Like, oh boy, here we go. Yeah. No, because I don't reach out to unless you guys go, hey, here's somebody, and you, you, hey, you want to have that person on. It's it's rare if somebody comes in and we have no idea who they are, or we haven't done our background check, right, Todd? That is correct. Thank you, That Todd. has happened. Although, Todd has pitched guys that we don't know. Yes, he has. Yeah, he has. 
For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.